Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So most global equity markets moved much, much higher yesterday following the ECB's announcement that monetary stimulus is potentially on the cards. The US 30 had a massive bullish engulfing pattern yesterday, smashing through 17,361, hitting 17,561, and uh, basically moving beyond most other technical indicators, which are getting quite overbought right now as well, as uh, global equity markets from um, every corner had a fantastic uh, Thursday uh, because it's not just the Eurozone. Um, the ECB basically signaling that they'll do whatever it takes to prop up the local economies, gave the green light for emerging markets, for Japan, for many other major um, areas there as well. Obviously, China has been talking about it. So uh, it looks to be that um, currencies might be getting devalued. Um, but equities stand to do quite well uh, as more lending gets pushed out into other areas, more economic stimulus. It's just a big positive. I would have probably thought that they might have wanted to keep that in, the, in their back pocket for another day because things are slowing down, but they're not that bad yet, I guess. Um, but there's only so much monetary stimulus they can really do before it starts becoming effectual. But nevertheless, uh, global equities having a fantastic um, end to the week. Looking at the UK 100, bullish engulfing pattern again, stopping at 64.15. Technicals are definitely getting overbought. We had a sell signal in the slow stochastic there uh, probably about two or three days ago, um, but it's not been stopped by the fundamentals behind the ECB as well. Um, next potential resistance would be 65.89 if we manage to punch through 64.15 later on this morning. So looking at Japan 225, again, fantastic breakout. Close at the top end of its range, smash through both moving averages. Uh, this is an interesting time. So 18,648 was a potential resistance. It's long from there just now. If we look at the tip of this candle right here, around about 19,095, that was broken support now expected to act as potential resistance. In fact, I'm going to add that on there so I don't forget about it. In fact, will you take this point? Maybe you'd even take this point. Oh, no, we're going to go for this candle because it is a little bit neater. So uh, we could be looking at 19,104 as next potential resistance, longer term potential resistance, 20,087. So having a look at dollar yen, uh, dollar yen having a great breakout uh, capped by that 20, 55 period SMA. Uh, graveyard doji formation currently 121.87 is the next potential uh, resistance. Uh, so the dollar seems to be getting a little bit of an acceleration today, I guess, if your euro's weakening on the back of potential monetary stimulus and the U.S. is still thinking about raising rates in December, which I don't think will actually ever happen. Um, that does give rise to people buying the U.S. dollar at the expense of the euro and obviously uh, people buying uh, with exuberance in the market people are not buying the safe haven yen so dollar yen could be an interesting play for those of you that want to take that dollar momentum uh, as a potential trade so then having a look at crude oil west texas is not doing a huge amount even the stimulus measures uh proposed by the ecb aren't really going to change much in china which is the big driver of uh, west texas crude um, and obviously if the us dollar is gaining a little bit of momentum then that's going to be a net bear it's going to be kind of negative for commodities that are all priced in usd so not a lot happening with west texas crude looking at gold um gold had a little bit of a move higher today it was down yesterday again stronger us dollar 1168 still remains the potential um, strategically important level for gold and it'll probably oscillate around there similar to what other commodity products have done once it picks a level uh, with a, a huge lot of clear direction from the US as to what's happening with interest rates it's probably not going to do a huge amount now either so finishing up with euro dollar you can see the euro got smashed yesterday bearish engulfing pattern back down to one spot 11 and it stopped dead in its tracks today. Uh, it's not doing a huge amount. One spot 0786 is the next potential support level to be aware of. So it's just knocked out a whole month's worth of gains in one day. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. And if we look at GBP USD, sterling uh, had a bad day yesterday as well, but not as bad as a euro. It was a lot more positive actually. Uh, the sterling was trading much higher, but then it got pushed right back down all the way to the end. Uh, and now we're trading below one spot 5424 uh, and now the next potential support is all the way down at one spot 5185
So that gives you an idea of what to expect on the major markets. And macroeconomic data wise, we do have German PMI and Eurozone PMI to finish up the week. That's obviously quite early in the morning. Um, over the weekend, we don't have any Chinese data. Always check the weekend for Chinese data because sometimes it can uh, trip people up. And then on Monday, you've got German IFO Business Expectations Index, um, which isn't really that major, but it is for the Eurozone, but not for many other traders. Uh, Tuesday brings us uh, UK GDP and US durable goods. And of course, you've got the CCI data. Wednesday, retail sales for Germany, consumer confidence for Germany. And of course, you've got the FOMC. That's going to be a big one on the 28th of October. Don't miss that one. That's going to be big. So guys, as ever, keep your uh, eyes on the chart forum. I can see we've got a client, uh, no, actually, it's, this is Jasper, posting a whole host of very, very useful analysis for you to take advantage of. Make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. Lots of really interesting updates from our global team as to what's hitting the markets today. And join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.